like a boss. All right, ladies, this is Alex from MindfulAttraction.org. So today we're going to be talking about you got to let a man miss you, all right? And the reason why that is is because when I always mention this in this channel, there's a reason why when you don't like the guy, they become addicted to you. There's a reason why. And there's a reason why I always keep telling you guys, pay very close attention how you behave when you do not like the guy. Because in that behavior is all you need to know how to behave when you like the guy. Because unlike when you like the guy, you actually want to hear from them. Because when you don't like the guy and you try to break up with them, it makes them chase even harder. So it's actually, so it's, what's funny is that, anyways, so when you like the guy though, you don't give them that space. That's why they don't become that obsessed with you because you don't let them miss you. Naturally, you're acting out of emotion. You're not strategically doing things with the guys that you like and you don't like, right? But because you see the results with the guys that you don't like, you think it'll transfer over to the guys you don't you do like. But the problem isn't the guy itself. The problem is that your behavior is not consistent. So what you gotta do is just pay close attention when you're with a guy that you don't like, right? And just notice that behavior. Notice how you feel. Notice how. Notice where you look. Notice how often you look at him. Notice the way you text him. Notice how willing to walk away you are. Notice the attitude that you have when you don't like the guy. Pay close attention so that you're able to replicate it. Because what you'll notice is that when you do like the guy, you'll notice a big shift. You'll begin to see things you didn't see before. You'll notice how needy you are. And, and also, you'll notice that you have more control of your behavior, right? So when you don't like the guy, man, when you like the guy, you got to keep that distance. You got to let him text you first. You got to let him initiate. And you got to and you gotta disappear on him from time to time, you know? But the problem, though, is that every, a lot of you guys, ladies, are acting out of pure emotion. So you guys cannot control the results you get. You guys are just sort of going by it. And sure, you guys might get the res some good results, but they're temporary. What you want is permanent results, right? So when you're in a relationship with a dude also, it is also works in a relationship with a guy because I'll tell you something, man. I remember one time I was with this extremely beautiful girl when I was younger, and she was bad as shit. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord, I have mercy. She was bad. I mean, to this day, she was the most beautiful girl, the most beautiful girl I've, I've ever been with. And she, I got tired of her. Because she was just there all the time, texting me every morning, being all lovey-dovey, calling me, oh, boo-boo, you know, I never told you I love you, but, you know, through her behavior, she, she showed me she loved me. But um, she's like, oh, my God, Alex is being heartbroken. Thing is, I told her I love her. She never told me back, you know, but she still stayed with me even though I didn't want to be with her. But I don't know why she didn't say that. But anyways, she was still not over her other ex. That's another story. But the point is that she turned me off. And I liked her. And I was my dream girl. And she turned me the fuck off. And why was that? Because she didn't create that distance. She was too fucking happy. She was trying to be this lovable girlfriend. And I'm like, bitch, be who you are. She was trying to be too lovable. Don't try to be the perfect girlfriend. The perfect girlfriend is not attractive. The perfect girlfriend is not attractive. The perfect girlfriend, it is not attractive. It's actually kind of weird. A guy wants a woman with a, with, that's a little bit difficult. That's just how life is. We want, a little, we want to struggle a bit. But when you make it too easy on him because you love him and you can't control yourself, he's going to get bored. And so in reality, it's just you being selfish. If you really are thinking about his need, you're going to realize that if you get too close, he might get turned off. It's just human nature. So you just give him the space so that he can come after you. You see what I'm saying? It's a strategy. A lot of people resent the fact that this is how things are, but it is what it is. You got to let a man miss you. But, but, so even more when you like the guy, when you like the guy, you don't notice your behavior. When you, when, when you are in love, there's a, there's a little button of self-awareness that goes out the window. When you're in love, self-awareness goes out the window. So you don't notice how crazy you're acting until somebody tells you or you're looking at the reaction of people. You know, so it's kind of like you have to overcompensate by going the other route and being more relaxed and letting them come to you and by just abiding by the rules, by not sending a lot of LOLs, never double texting. If somebody breaks up with you, you don't come back, you let them come back. And if they do come back, you make them pay a price. It's just how it is. It's standing up for yourself. You will develop high self-esteem through it. You know what I'm saying? All right? All right, ladies. This is Alex from Mindful Traction. People, I'm going to Berlin. 
I'm going to be in Berlin this Friday. No, yeah, and doing a seminar on Saturday, right? So if you guys want to come to the seminar, go to the link below and you guys will be able to come to the seminar, all right? See you guys tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow because I'm making another video. And let me know what you guys want me to make a video. All right, ladies. So this is the course that all of you guys have been asking me for and it's the Psychological Game of Attraction. This is pretty much the course that will make any man beg to want to commit with you. This is the course that I wish, I'll be honest with you, if I was a woman, this is the kind of course that I want because it, it, it's, it's a course that's specifically geared to help you understand how guys fall in love and how to do it in a systematic way that's almost predictable, right? So let me show you guys how the, this course is, is set up. By the way, there's a 30-day money back guarantee on, on this course. So if you guys don't like it, you guys will get money back. Look, let me show you how it's done, right? So it's split up in a few sections. The first section is the introduction, obviously, uh, how, what to expect from it. After that is I'm giving you an understanding of the psychology, the, the psychology of attraction, right? Because you need to understand that dating is a game. You need to think strategically that there are certain laws of human nature that you cannot break. That And just a few things of why people love each other. You know, it's very important to, to have a realistic expectation. After that, we go into the pre we, we go into the three phases of every relationship. They and they all go in these three phases, and these phases could overlap each other at times, right? The first phase is the pre-honeymoon period. It is when you first know the person, or it is when you're becoming acquaintance with the guy, or it is when you guys broke up or and are back together, or it is when you guys had a long period of you guys not knowing each other, and now you guys want to rekindle things. This works in any point of the relationship that, that you need to spark interest and curiosity. So these videos are specific for that specific to create curiosity, how to get to know the guy the right way, using your non-verbals, how to create a powerful reputation. It's, it's, it's tr truly powerful stuff. After that is the honeymoon period. This honeymoon period is what and is how to get from curiosity to interest to creating a deep connection. So all of these videos are specifically geared to that. Not the 30, no, no, no. These specific videos are there for this phase. And this phase is any phase. You guys are having a good, happy, happy moment. You guys just got back together, and now you get, you feel that peak. You feel that that happiness that you guys felt. That's what this is, right? So these videos are there for that, creating a lonely fantasy, the preemptive breakup, the triangle of love, using words to control his man. It's, it's powerful stuff. After that is the post honeymoon period, and again, is 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 a short list of videos because these videos are there to solidify the connection that you already created. So if you're if you just had an incredible moment or you just came out of a vacation with a guy and everything went well, you better use this phase because if you don't do this, he's going to become disenchanted. It's just how it is. These are very specific videos and 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 if you and and all you got to do is just say, "All right, where am I?" I, I tell you where you guys are and you just watch the video. It's pretty much like being coached by me. You got some bonus videos, stop being nice, dealing with the inevitable, how to deal with breakup, how to deal with getting over a dude. This is the, the, the how, to, how to overcome manipulation, identifying manipulation, the term manipulation, defending yourself against manipulation, what to do if you're already in a manipulative relationship and how to avoid them through detachment. It's pretty much an extremely succinct, and laser focused course not one waste of motion that's why i love it and there's a 30 day money back guarantee if you guys don't like if you guys don't like it no questions asked people all right and if you guys want to support this channel this is how you support it and um i hope you guys enjoy this all right see you guys inside